Hey, welcome back. Our next guest are from First Tech Challenge, Team 9773 Robocracy. Yeah. And he joined us today to discuss what they are doing in response to COVID-19. Now, we have uh, the coach, Alex Eichenberg, and uh, he has his uh, student with him, Alonzo, Alonzo Manzueta. Welcome to the show, guys. And I know you have a whole team working with you, and you have Team 9773. Who are these people who are part of your team? Um, we're at FIRST Robotics, FIRST Tech Challenge team, and we compete at different levels. But as part of our um, program, we have to part we participate in outreach program. So we, we decided to try to help out our community by making masks and shields that, we're, that are able to protect from the virus. Yeah. And this is how you uh, switched off. You were a big robotics team and you were in competition and you build robots from scratch. But during this pandemic, you said, let's get together and, and switch up. And, and now you retooled, so to speak, and you're making uh, PPEs, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. So, so we have uh, two machines. We have uh, three printers and also a CNC machines. And uh, we use them normally, and the kids are making all the designs for the robots and, and building the parts. Because now we have to self-isolate, so uh, I build them, but they, they've done a lot of the design. It keeps them busy. Now, who, where does it go from there? They, the kids pick them up, but then there's a hospital, or who comes to, to use them? How does it get put to use? So, actually, once we're done making them, we come together as a team to decide who we think would use the PPEs um, in, mm -hmm. like the most, who would who need it like the most. So um, we decide on hospitals, um, uh, elderly homes, or volunteers in underprivileged communities. How did it? How did this start? I mean, you you were how did you get interested in robotics? And then I know this thing converted into what we're doing now with the pandemic. But how did you first get involved in it? Um, so I started robotics um, in fifth grade. So Alonzo before was talking about an FLL team, which is the robotics team that comes before this high school level team of FTC. So I started from there and I really liked um, the, desi the design aspect of yeah. ro um, robotics and building the robots. How, how did you find out? Who came up with the idea that said, hey, you know what? We have these capabilities. Let's come together and make these masks and we can distribute them. I, th I think many designs were out there in the community. There's like uh, companies and, uh, and and people that ha that shown, and there's also an NIH uh, site that lists all the masks that are being approved. So so there's basically a lot of uh, knowledge out there, and we, it's just a realization that we both have the tools. You know, youngsters, you you have a lot of energy. You want to get out there. You want to do some things, but uh, you are disciplined. You know right from wrong, and you know that this is rewarding knowing in your heart that you're helping others to get what they need out of life. There are a lot of first responders, uh, frontline workers who are on the line, giving their lives, sometimes losing their lives to help us go on living their lives. So we commend everything that you guys are doing. We thank you and appreciate everything that you guys are putting together and using your science, your knowledge. We love you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's really great to hear back from all the organizations that we donate our masks from, and hearing how like happy they are that they're that we're able to make a difference in what we're doing, and um, that they're able to be like better protected now, because before many organizations um, were weren't able to, especially like the volunteers, the food delivery organizations, yeah. they weren't able to have the different PPEs that they needed to protect themselves. So now we're able to really help, and it's really happy to hear. Tell us where could we go to get more information and, um, and what's going to happen behind uh, COVID-19? Are you going to continue making masks or are you going to go right back into robotics no. after the pandemic? Uh, we definitely will continue robotics uh, to the extent it's safe to do so. Uh, we have a plan to do 1,000 masks. We already produce about 300. Uh, and uh, we're continuing doing, we, we have a plan for every week. And uh, the families are helping out. Uh, and we try to distribute them to people that we know. Uh, yeah. Obviously, if you know of uh, organizations that are in need, uh, so you can send email uh, to ftcrobocracy.com. Home and uh, and we'll, we'll try to do our best. Thank you, guys. And I know you got the big awards coming in, so you can tell us about that at another time. Or briefly tell us, you got 
an award? So I guess I was the recipient of the Dean's List Award for All right. first. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> The first website talks all about it. Um, they talk about the previous Dean's List Awards as well. But um, it's basically they do an interview at one of the competitions and then they um, decide based on um, all the different things that you have done for the community or um, your different achievements, whether in school or uh, in the first community as in general, um, they decide how... Uh, like, yeah, they decide if you're able to receive the award or not. Well, congratulations. Thank you. All right. And among the things that uh, Alonso has been doing is like, and also as a team, but basically we've started a program in Mount Vernon schools where we go to a Delamarty school and, and try to help them with the same program. And they have now the first FLL team. So uh, we're very happy uh, that we get so much support from the Mount Vernon school district and Tropic and school in particular. And so Alonso, as well as Dia, were very involved in, in teaching uh, kids uh, there. Alex Eichenberg, team members Dia Patel and Alonso Manzueta. Thank you guys so much. And they are team 9773, the first tech challenge. Thank you, Democracy. Bob. Democracy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, Pleasure to talk. You. You're welcome. And we'll see you guys again, all right? Keep up the good Absolutely. work. We'll take a break. We've got more headed your way next on Bronxnet.